Welcome to Vet Talk, man. So today, man, I want to take you to a scripture that talks about the flood. Most people say, Brother Vince, what does this have to do with anything? Well, the Bible says, as a day of, as in the day of Noah, so um, so shall be um, doing the coming of the Son of Man, which is Jesus. It's gonna be like those days, and in Noah's time, what most people don't realize was they were beings, angels, Genesis 6, that came down, slept with the fair women, which were uncovered women, and they created these beings, which we call Nephilim giants. Well, because this happened, mankind became corrupt, evil. They started doing everything evil that can possibly happen. A lot of things we see today where we got same-sex marriage and we got, you know, people killing just so that they can kill a baby, you know, um, pedophiles being, you know, they trying to legalize that, marijuana, just all these different things that we got going on in this world. This is the evil stuff that are happening. People who are into sorcery, people who are into tarot card reading, um, you know, sage burning, all these different stuff that are going on in this world. Everybody's saying I'm a spiritualist, yoga, you know, all these different things, man. All these different evils going on in this world. It's the same thing that was going on during Noah's time, man. Genesis 6. And most people don't realize that God promised was only to save eight. When he told Noah to go build the ark, he was not sending Mo Noah to go preach to nobody, trying to get them on the boat. No, none of that. Nope. Everybody was evil. Everybody was wicked. But God found favor with Abel, I mean, with, with Noah and his family, and he spared their lives. He only spared Noah, his sons, and their wives, and Noah's wife, and the two-by-two two animals that he told them to take upon the boat. A lot of the other animals and different things, they were corrupt. Why? Because the beings were mating, and they were gene manipulating and doing all this other stuff, and they were just messing up everything. And it's the same thing that's going on now. They're doing so much stuff in this land to where God is tired. He's frustrated with all this stuff, especially when people start harming kids. When people can change the identity of a child, taking a boy, turning them into a girl. When they can abort a baby, all these things to destroy God's inheritance. God is soon to come back. Jesus. Yeah, he's coming. He's on his way. I pray that you're ready. It's time to get it right. Let's go. Vet talk out.